Hello and welcome to a Minecraft video. This is preparing for the update. My name is Leader Grev and this is a new series in which I'll take what I know about the 1.8 update that's coming out, uh, I believe in November, the upcoming adventure update, so it's called, and look at what we know, take the knowledge that we know and apply it in the game so that once it comes out we have a ready base, ready supplies, and ready tools so we can grapple with the girth of the update successfully and handle what we've got to do. So let's jump right in. Alright, so I've created something of a small list which includes the things that I think are absolutely essential to a base that's going to be ready for a massive adventure update. And some of those things are, among others, a farm, um, both an animal farm and an ordinary uh, bread and butter, what's to face, uh, wheat farm. That'll include, among other things, cacti, and I already have some a uh, bunch of seeds, um, wheat, mushrooms, things that will be conducive to my surviving once the update comes out. Now, another thing I want to create is a refueling station. And, whoops, that was a mistake. And a refueling station is a, at least in my understanding, and the way I want it to be in Minecraft, is a small station uh, where you can get all of the things that you need. Whoops. Oh, and here is too many items. I have too many items installed, but I'm not using it. Uh, everything on the save file that I have right now that you see me using is absolutely legit. It is carried on from my adventure update. This is adventure update. My adventure uh, let's play, I guess, where I uh, stopped here, and I didn't really continue for a long time. And I decided to get back on and use this as an opportunity to create something that was going to be interesting for me to continue with. And thus this was born. And I'm not going to sleep, I'm going to skip through that, and uh, I'm going to explain what exactly it is I want to do with um, this series. What I want to do is I want to create a base and sort of ready myself with all the supplies necessary and all the things I need to successfully survive and thrive, I suppose, in once the adventure update comes out. So I can go out and explore the things, the new things that Notch is offering us and survive once those things are out. Uh, among them the Enderman, which I'm terrified of, um, and just other parts of that update. And I should be digging away at this. Alright, and the reason I'm inside a cave-ish structure right now is because when I was playing my Let's Play, I wanted to create a base that was integrated with the environment. So if you were walking through the world and you were like, la-di-da-di-da, -da, a Minecraft base, I am, rather, that's not what you would say, that would, that would be the opposite of what you're saying. You would say, la-la-la-la-la, nothing here, just normal woodlands and beaches and so-and-so and such-and-such. -and, -such. and you wouldn't even notice the existence of a base, and that was my intention. I wanted to build something that was so, like, hidden away from everything else. Uh, a Walden Beach of sorts, uh, where I would have a base that I would know existed, but that would be relatively well hidden from the outdoors. And of course this isn't a multiplayer server, it doesn't really matter who and who doesn't come across this little house, but it's just something of a design challenge I decided to issue myself. So I'm going to be digging away at this, and it is night time right now, let me check my watch. Bam, what night time. So I'm going to be digging away at this because I want to expand this area into a hub of sorts. I don't want it to be the same little dinky old square it is here. So once I do come back, it's going to be daytime and I will have cut away, uh, chipped away most of this stuff. So I will see you then. Alright folks, we're back and I've gotten quite a bit of digging done. Um, this isn't the dream just yet, I mean... There's plenty more to dig out and plenty more to do, but I figured I'd stop here and uh, show you guys what I found. Now, as it turns out, my little home underground falls into, and I'll actually clear this out to make it a bit more natural. Uh, Alright, so as I was saying, my little home sort of branches out into what I would call a little scar in the earth, where it's got some mini little caves right here. It doesn't, and it goes up to the surface over here where I closed it off. And it is becoming nighttime, but before it does become nighttime, I wanted to show you something. I, I found not far from 
uh, my home a little pool of lava. Not so around a whole bunch of trees, but I don't think I'm in any danger just yet. But uh, that's certainly something to consider in the architecture of the house and what I'm going to be doing with that lava because it's so close and it is such a cool element and it is something I might want to work with. So, and I just heard a spider, so I will close this off right now so as to avoid any creepy critters come in. There. And let's see. I got a ton of cobble, a um, bunch of coal, uh, a bit of flint, and about one block of iron. And what I want to do is I want to create, I believe right now would be a nice time for me to create my forgery. So it's not going to be a big thing. It's going to be a whole bunch of uh, furnaces sort of not even lined up against the wall. Maybe it could be in the wall so that it's, as I said, more like in the environment. But it's sort of like a little pit, whoops, didn't intend to do that, where I can sit in there, put all my stuff in, and then come back later, grab all my stuff and go. The forgery shouldn't be something huge. Maybe actually, I think I have an idea. I think I have quite an interesting idea for how I'm going to pull this off. This is going to be a very small part, but it's going to be something that gets this out of my way, and I might just, this might just be the way I keep my forgery. So, uh, let's get ourselves a little square going over here, because that's the shape that I want. Ugh, there's creepy noises. Notch, why'd you have to do me like that? Creepy noises are not the way to go. Five. Let's see. Play a bit with this. And one, two, three, four, five. It's gonna be a bit off, so six. There you go. That that should work. I believe that's six all around. Six by six. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There you go. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to create a little upside down pyramid sort of thing and I should properly light this before I get to work and what I'm going to, I'm going to keep a little indentation right here but everywhere else the pyramid's going to go a tiny bit lower than the floor is right now so let's see how that's going to work Alright, so it looks like an ordinary square right now, but we're going to cut a bit deeper. And now that I think about it, I think a 5x5 five five square would have worked a tiny bit better. Oh, but actually I have a pretty cool idea, one that I think you guys might like, might find interesting. Alright, so, and then one, two, four. And that gives me room for about... Well, let's say this, uh, it gives me room for a whole bunch of furnaces, so let's see how that works. Um, I have, I believe I put one little block of iron in there, I don't need that. And furnaces are good to keep going because hopefully in the future I'll have a whole bunch of, like a horde of stuff going on, so I want to put, I want to diffuse it amongst the furnaces as much as possible so I get as much from it as quickly as possible so that I have a lot ready to go. So, oh, and actually, one thing I want to do, do I have, how much wood do I have? One, two, three, oh, I forgot how fences are made. Do I have any wood in here? No, unfortunately I don't. So that is something I will have to get onto later, but let's get them furnaces down here. And eight, there you go. And let's dig ourselves a little hole in there, and you're going to see why I'm doing that in just a second. Hopefully, oh, I should close that up. I don't want my little experiment spilling out too far into the reaches, the outer limits. 
so to speak. All right. Did I close that up accidentally? No. All right. So what time is it? Um, it's about daytime, so I'm almost just about ready to go outside and get what it is I wanted. So, but actually, while I have the time, I want to cook myself some glass. Oops, not my intention. So I'll be closed up in a couple of seconds. But let me see, how much glass do I need? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right. See, this is where it comes in handy. Well, actually, because I don't have I don't have that much glass, and one block of coal, I do believe takes on eight pieces, so I don't need to separate it right now. The sun is coming up. Let's see how that looks. Oh, it does not look good. But I will take care of this right now. But a boom, skidoosh. The sun will be up pretty soon. And once it is up, I'll have that ready. My forgery will be complete. Actually, I do have some cobblestone left because I know I'll be finishing a tiny bit off. It'll be the um, clean stone because this is a very clean stone cavern-ish thing. So I'm going to need a lot of it, and I want to get rid of that. But one thing I do need immediately, as quickly as possible, it's unfortunate that I don't have more cobble. All right, one, two, three. Is I need an axe because I need to get some wood going. All right, so what I need the wood going for is to finish off this furnace. What? Oh, st stupid me. Oh, how stupid of me. That was an accident. I quite apologize. And let's see what's going on here. Bum, 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 bum. It does look like a fantastic day. But before we go out, one last little thing. Um, okay. Uh, how do we do a buckets? Five buckets sounds reasonable. Doesn't. Whatever. Let me two. Four buckets sounds reasonable. That's reasonable. Four buckets is fine. And the rest I'll just carry with me. Let's go get ourselves the things we need. Nature will not get in our way. I refuse to allow nature to stand in my way, especially nighttime. Who gives nighttime the right to boss me around? Mm -hmm. I need to approach this cautiously because it was just nighttime and there might just be something lurking around the corner ready to finish me off should the opportunity arise. So I should always be ready for that. Now let's get them trees while we still can. This looks like a promising tree. Whoops. I swear I'm so on edge right now because of that lava pit that me breaking that grass right now just freaked me out. Like, what the flipping burgers is going on here? Alright, so we got ourselves plenty of this. And maybe you guys can already assume... Actually, I kind of doubt that you guys can already assume what I'm going to do. You can assume what I'm going to do with these lava buckets. Alright, I'll give you that much. You can figure that out fairly easily, I hope. Let's get this glass out. But I don't think you can assume what I'm going to do with the wood. Alright. Now this is starting to look like a real forgery. Or a forge. Whatever the word may be. Now what I want to do with this wood is I want to create some fences. And you might be thinking to yourself, fences? What? It's not at all as I was, what I was expecting. Well, it wasn't, and rightfully so, because I wouldn't be expecting fences either. What I want to do is I want to create a fancy light, but not an ordinary light, but a light that happens to double as something else. Something quite useful when you're forging around. 
And it is mighty unfortunate that I did not make this 5x5. Five five. Oh, and that's even worse. But, ah, uh, stop that. What I can do is I can nonetheless create what it is I need to create. Let's see, am I above these? I want to... Ah. Notch, if you're going to do that, please don't do that around me. I cannot stand them noises. Them noisy noises of noisiness. And they're not even noisy, they're just creepy. Why would you do me like that, Notch? Come on. Have some decency. And care for your fellow man. So you now might, might be on the utter loss of understanding. You might be thinking, what the hell is going on here? I don't understand a single thing. But, no worries. Actually, let's start off with two. Two. Benchwarming. And apparently I haven't made a crafting bench in this world yet. But actually, I think I've come across that yet. Or, not yet, so far. And that's not entirely reflective of your performance in Minecraft. So that makes sense. Now. Oh, that's why that's not going to work. Uh-huh. Let me get some wood out. I didn't think it was going to work. Actually, let's try this. There you go. Thank you, fences. Oh, these aren't even... Ta-da! There you go. A wonderful little light. And it would have worked much better had it been possible to toggle crafting on and off, but no worries. No worries. Babies worry. And I can tell you that I am quite a man. Least baby of all. Alright, so let's get some more lava going on here. Dun, 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 dun. Desecrating nature, yes, how we roll. Ah. Sure is great desecrating nature. Great. But at least we got our lava, and that's all that matters. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Hello there. That's what I meant to do. Let's get this class up in this house. There you go. And this is my forgery as I wanted it. I'm surprised that I got my forgery done so quickly. Forgery. Wow, I just realized I was using the wrong word this whole time. Forgery is the act of not forging, but creating false documents, usually. Like forging your mom's signature and you get in trouble. Not the kind of forgery I was thinking about. Oh well, it's only human. We make mistakes. And put this right there. And we have ourselves a little forge. And should we need to craft something, just dink. You look up and you got it. There, that's pretty fancy if you ask me. Kind of simple, but no worries. It'll do. Mind. So do help me out, do give me some suggestions. Thank you very much for watching. Rate, comment, and subscribe, and have a nice day.